Hey guys, I am back for the third and final round of my Compass Fusion tutorials. And a lot of you have been asking me, are you going to show us the cube? What about the cube? Can I have the cube now? Cube, please. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm not going to show you the cube. I'm going to show you the cube, the sphere, and the cylinder. And you know what that means? That's the trifecta of power, including some non-supported extras, which I think that it's going to get a little bit cold in here, and you'll find out here in a little bit. How cool is this? I'll show you how to do it. Having teleported into Ubuntu, you want System, Preferences, and CCSM, or Compass Config Settings Manager, and hit Enable Cube, disabling Desktop Wall, and we also want to enable Rotate Cube under Desktop, and then Reflection and Deformation, which will have to resolve the conflict that uh, comes up when you have Next Slide. And then we just want to enable the 3D windows. And make sure you check all these boxes. If you don't check the boxes, it doesn't take effect. Back in CCSM, now enter Cube Settings, and then the Appearance tab. There we click on Sky Dome at the bottom. And that's where we're going to establish what background or sky picture that we're going to use. Then just browse for your image that tickles your fancy, and you'll want to click Animate Sky Dome if you want the background to rotate when you rotate the cube. It's a pretty cool effect. Now under Effects, go ahead and enter Cube Reflection and Deformation. And we're going to edit the appearance of that by selecting our images for the caps, which will be your top and bottom images. If you're doing a cylinder or a sphere, you may want it to be the same image, but I personally like different images and switching it up a little bit. You want to make sure you remove the default images by clicking Delete, and then you can add images by clicking New. And through the tutorial, you may notice that I have different wallpapers for my workspaces. Um, that is a little bit more complicated than we can go into today, but I'll probably do a video about that later. Now we just went to the Reflection tab and selected Distance. Onward to the Deformation tab. You have none, which is your standard cube, and then you have the options of a sphere and a cylinder. Default for switching into cube mode is control, alt, and left mouse button. So there's your cube, but I remember telling you guys I was going to show you something really special. So, go to your terminal. Using the amazing power of compass zoom, I'm zooming in on the command where sudo aptitude install compass fusions plugins unsupported. And that's when things will get a little bit chilly. Moving forward, we're back in the Compass Config Settings Manager, and you'll notice that Extra shows with snow. Now we're going to make our own digital snowstorm. So go to the Key Mapping tab, and it looks like it's mapped to the Windows key in F3. And look at it come down. And I have it with the cylinder. It's a wee bit nippy in here. Sorry, I just had to say it. I just wanted to prove to you that you can, in fact, beat the pants off of Windows 7 as far as what is picturesque. Uh, and, and Linux doesn't have to be ugly. It's not the red-headed stepchild. That is just me. Anyway, I hope to catch you back here next week. See you then. Bye.